2.1b prime factorization and divisibility tests. A number is divisible by a smaller number if the small number divides into the number. And we have some divisibility tests that make it a little bit easier to um, tell if a number is divisible by another number. 2 is one you probably already know and we know that if it ends in a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, it's divisible by 2. 3 you may not know and it's the sum of the digits um, are divisible by 3. I will do an example of that shortly. 5, again, you may already know this. It ends in a 0 or 5. 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, they're prime numbers, um, obviously, but we do not have divisibility tests for them. So that for them, we just divide spell it by using long division. Now for example for 3 if we have a number say like 57 we add up the digits, 5 plus 7, we get 12. 12 is divisible by 3, so 57 is divisible by 3. We have a number like, say, 63. 6 plus 3 is equal to 9, and 9 divides by 3, so 63 is divisible by 3. Makes it really easy once you know. Whoops, we scrolled too far. Okay. For example 1, we have 2730 and we're looking to see what it's divisible by. We're namely looking at 2, 3, and 5. Well, it ends in 0, so that means it's a divisible by 2. 0 also means it's divisible by 5. So now we're checking for 3. So we're looking to see is 2 plus 7 plus 3 plus 0. That's going to give us 12. Is 12 divisible by 3? Yes. So that means this is divisible by 3. So we know that it's divisible by all of those. 133. Well, because our last number is not even, it's not divisible by 2. It's not divisible by 5. Let's check 3. So I'm looking to see if 1 plus 3 plus 3 gives me something that's divisible by 3. So we get 4, 7. 7 is not divisible by 3, so 
that doesn't help me, so it's not divisible by 3. But I could check it for some of our other prime numbers, like say 7. So if I took 7 into 103, again we have to do long division because we don't have a divisibility rule for this. 7 will go into 13 one time. That gives us 6 left over. 7 will go into 63 nine times. And I get a zero remainder. So that means that 133 is divisible by both 7 and 19.